Christine Horn. Welcome back to another episode of Sunday Stories. Today I want to share a quick story with you about the bars that changed my life. You're probably like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Listen, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on for notifications so you don't miss the video. So again, I have to give credit to my mother, Valerie, for um, reminding me of some of these stories and sharing pictures with me so that I can share them with you so that you can get to know me better. So I was born in 1977. Yes, I'm grown. <laughs> and um, what many people don't know about me, I mean, I don't think anybody does actually, not even my close, close friends, um, is that I was born and my legs I was like bow-legged and my legs, my feet were turned in. So um, that's how I was born. Like no problems outside the 20 something hours of labor, you know, for my mother through. But um, yeah, and my mother shares this story with me. And as you see, see in the pictures that if they did not do something to correct my feet, I would have grown up to kind of being, you know, very, um, pigeon toed and I would have been tripping over myself there. I know, I know some of you watching may, may be dealing with that yourself. And she shared this story about how, um, her and my father really had a, could not agree on the correcting this issue. And my mother holds the whole, her whole position was she's a baby. She's not going to remember <laughs> having to wear these bars on her feet. But when she gets older, she, that's with her for the rest of her life. And by then it's too late to correct the situation. And she was talking about how my dad just felt sorry for me, you know, just like, oh, I don't want to see my baby, you know, with those bars, like, you know, and my mother was like, she doesn't know the difference. She doesn't know anything else. So in 1978, I got these bars put on and I was asking my mom and she was telling me, I was like, I was like, how was it for me? Was I able to crawl or do whatever? She said, you did everything. You did everything that you needed to do. The bars would, the bottom had a little a adjustment thing. So it would adjust and move. But I, the bars never came off unless it was bath time, she said. They were on all day and all night. And um, less than a year later, um, as you'll see in a photo here with my mom, who's so beautiful. I love this picture. Oh my, that was my christening day in 1978. My feet were corrected. And from then on, for years after that, I would wear those special shoes. <laughs> I would wear them special shoes, those Buster Brown shoes with the good old orthotics and whatnot inside. My mother says, she's like, those special shoes were expensive. <laughs> I'm like, can we stop calling them special shoes? Can, can we just call them shoes, please? <laughs> Oh gosh, that's something my mother, we use the word special a lot. Like when I was vegan, my mom makes this rice. It's like a version of jollof rice, you know, in the Caribbean and Africa, we call it different things, but she called it her red rice. And that for a time, I was like, mom, don't use chicken bouillon or anything because, you know, I was vegan. And so she would, whenever we had family dinners or Thanksgiving, she knew that was my favorite. So she'd have some to the side and she's like, this is your special rice. <laughs> So when I say special, like, I don't mean to offend anybody. It's just like, that's our word. Like, so special shoes. Why can't they just be shoes, mom? <laughs> but as I got older and even talking to her uh, recently about this and looking over the pictures and looking at me, like, I don't remember being a baby. I don't, outside of these pictures, I don't remember. And it just made me think about the things in life that may have a temporary a temporary decision can have a lifelong effect. And I was just thinking about that in my life, in my career, and it's something I wanted to pass on to you. What is something going on in your life? What is something that if you made one small change, maybe took a, a small time to, to be uncomfortable or to make a shift, what lifelong effect would that have on your life? And it just made me think about just so many things and I'm so grateful that my mom just trusted her gut and saw the bigger picture. And I think that's why I operate the way that I do. She was a great example, is a great example of just having a bigger vision. And everybody may not see it. 
and but holding on to what it can be in a small time of inconvenience can really make a lasting impression, a lasting difference in your life. And so I'm grateful for that. And I just wanted to pa pass that on to you and put that in your spirit. And I don't know, there might be an area of your life too where it might be time for a small temporary inconvenience for long lasting change. So that's my quick Sunday stories this week. I'm grateful. I walk straight, honey, now. Honey, I walk straight. <laughs> and I'm so grateful, you know? I mean, I used to model back in the day, took dance classes, as you know. So I just can't imagine trying to do that with my feet all the way turned in and do it successfully. I mean, we know there's some fierce people out in the world who, you know, I think about Naomi Campbell, honey, that her, she doesn't walk perfectly straight, but we're not concerned about that. But for me personally, I'm grateful for my mom making that decision. So anywho, I hope you will come back and tune in next Sunday for another Sunday Stories. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about at this point, but um, I hope it's something that um, will inspire you or at least just, again, help you get to know me a little bit better. Have a great day.